Hello, this is Amber from Morgan James Publishing. I'm on the author support team. And today I have the pleasure of speaking with Lisa Pence, the author of Tales of the Protectors Almost Heaven. Lisa, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So I want to dive in and ask you some questions. Where did you get the idea of Maxwell O'Malley and the Tales of the Protectors? Well, this is a fun answer because I love reading children's books. And um, I have this mindset that if, in, if I'm in a certain uh, situation and something odd happens, like I may be um, walking my dog on a windy day and a lot of leaves come down, you know, from the gust of wind and I'll walk through it. And I've just read too many children's books because I'll think when I'm walking through those leaves, this is like something I've read and, and I could walk through these leaves and come out in a magical land. So I have that mindset. And, and how I came up with Maxwell and Mally, we were vacationing on Mackinac Island, which is in Michigan. We were riding our bikes and uh, we got inland and we came up on the Civil War Cemetery. Mm. And there was a white picket fence around uh, the tombstones. And towards the front of the, of the graveyard, there was a turnstile like at an amusement park and it was white and wood and picket. And it, it, it struck me as so strange and so odd to have that uh, at the beginning, you know, of a graveyard with the trees. Right. So I thought, and then my mind just started clicking. Okay. This could be a children's story. A child mm -hmm. walked through this turnstile and then all of this stuff happens. Well, needless to say, that's all I could think about for the whole week. And um, right before we came home, I started writing down notes and, and ideas for the story. I came up with Maxwell and Mally and the Protectors. And, um, and, you know, this was kind of years ago and it, you know, progressed over time. But um, I finally got through it. And I think it's a wonderful story. I love that. I love that, that imagination and that creativity worked into everyday life. So that's yeah. such a great origin story. Thank so you. you've written other books. Why this time did you choose to write a children's book? Well, I think uh, it, it takes sometimes a child to believe in, you know, magical stories like that. And some of my best memories from childhood were reading the Narnia books by C.S. Lewis and um, I, all the adventures that the children experience there. And I think as a child, you can't help but think maybe one day I'll get to Narnia or I'll, you know, be, what would I do when I did arrive there? And I think it's great when the reader can imagine themselves as a participant in the story. They can be the hero. Right. And in Tales of the Protectors, uh, almost heaven, anyone, can become a protector. So it doesn't matter where you come from, what your last name is, who your parents are, you can be a protector. Um, it's based more on who you are on the inside mm -hmm. than you know where you come from, which I think that's wonderful. I love that. And that makes me want to be a protector. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And I grew up reading similar stories. And I remember, you know, just being so absorbed. And like you said, being in those situations where you mm -hmm. could picture yourself in that storyline so I love that. So what is your favorite chapter in the book and why? My favorite chapter is the first chapter and uh, you find out rather quickly that there's a tragedy in Maxwell's life and that uh, affects his existence throughout the rest of the book and I think that can mimic real life because um, life can be difficult sometimes even for children and um, my goal is for the story to be encouraging to the reader and um, let them be able to see how Maxwell and his friends overcome evil, and they do this by sticking together and not giving up. Mm. But I have to tell you one thing, uh, my favorite page in the book, which I wanna show you here, is at the very front, and it's, it says a note from the author, and I wanna read that to you. The Tales of the Protector seeks only those who possess the ability to believe. If you were not one of those few, the book would not have found its way to your hands. And I love that. So I hope that if you are one of those who believe, like me, that will, you will go out and buy the book. And I hope you love reading it as much as I enjoy writing it. I love that. Thank you so much, Lisa. So before we wrap up today, where can the viewers at home get connected with you? 
you can connect with me on Facebook under Lisa Pence. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me and thank you viewers at home for tuning in. And Lisa, congratulations on the release of your book. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.